I'm able to just mentally, ooh, that one feels good. It's time to crush some shoulders. Uh, and this, this session specifically, I'm doing straight off my training app. It's the shoulder day from week three of the competition split. And this, this split has probably the most volume out of all the training splits in terms of total weekly volume, uh, set number of sets and exercises per muscle group. So this, uh, this is exactly what I need right now. And honestly, it's been a minute since I've done a military press standing like this. So I'm gonna go up and wait slow. So I want to turn this one into a push press, maybe on the last set, just to go a little bit past failure. I'll push it up and then control the eccentric, so the way down just to put a little more attention on my shoulder. But with this guy, kind of same thing as the dumbbell press in terms of what I'm trying to accomplish and picture in my mind when I'm pressing. So as I'm going up, it's not so much just get the weight above my head. Of course, you know, my legs are flexed, my core is tight. I want to make sure I'm not overarching my back backwards to, to kind of start pressing the weight a little bit of my upper chest as well, but keeping everything tight, in line. And then as I'm driving the weight up, really what's in my mind is driving my elbows to my ears, just like that. And that way it just helps get a better squeeze on the muscle I'm trying to target, which is primarily my front delt. Probably won't add much weight to this one, maybe another five, but failure comes pretty quick when I'm trying to do these more straight. I'm not gonna lie, these feel really good. Even though I'm failing around seven or eight, we're not doing them in a minute. I think what's helped is for months now, I've been primarily starting my shoulder session after I warm up with the seated dumbbell press. And that allows me to really focus on that movement I was describing, driving my elbow, excuse me, the inside of my elbows to my ear. So now jumping back to the barbell, even though the weight's kind of heavy, I, I feel a pretty similar connection to the dumbbell that I used to only ever feel on dumbbell, which is kind of why I avoided this for a minute in the start. So I think there's a good lesson in that. Sometimes it's doing the same movement a different way, but really training the muscle and then coming back with something like the barbell. And then I guess being able to go a little heavier overall, but still have a good connection. You could use it for a lot of movements that you could do with a barbell. If you're having trouble connecting, jump to the dumbbells, maybe jump to a machine really master the connection with the muscle you're trying to train with that you know once you feel like okay i really got this down give the barbell a shot Those will get you just because you're doing one arm at a time. But really my focus is on keeping my core tight so I'm able to just mentally stay locked in, stay in a vertical line, 
and then just drive up with my elbow. Slight modification to the session with this one. Originally I had reverse pec deck to hit my rear delt, although that machine's taken, so that just means you gotta be flexible sometimes. So for this one, I'm just doing a seated dumbbell rear delt fly. 